You may remember Chris Andrew. He was on the show the other day when we were promoting Jazz Fest. And I am now joined by another jazz musician. This is Sandro Dominelli. We, was, we were speaking with your wife, Brandy, who is the artist liaison for Jazz Fest. Mm -hmm. So this is something that the whole family gets involved with every year. But let's <laughs> talk about you. Tell us about your love for the drums. Uh, well, it's uh, something that started when I was, uh, I think, eight years old. Mm -hmm. And it just uh, kept going from there. And um, every time I play, I just find it fascinating. And yeah. I'm always learning more about it. How many years have you been playing Jazz Fest? Oh, I would say since the early 90s. OK. Yeah. And yeah. You, so you've been playing it for over a decade now. How has it changed in that time? Well, actually, I, I, I mean, uh, the personnel changes. Um, the acts obviously change every year, but uh, the spirit and, and the organization as to how it works uh, has been quite consistent. And um, having played, you know, festivals uh, in other or cities and I guess countries too, um, it's it stacks up as one of the best, you know, as far as the organization part of it. For jazz music in general, we, we know that the sax is very popular, the piano is very popular. When it comes to drums and playing jazz on drums, how does it change compared to other genres of music? It's the most popular. No, I'm uh, actually, um, uh, the drums has always, I think, more or less been used as a supportive role. Mm -hmm. um, but it was in the jazz idiom that drummers started coming out to be leaders and writing their own music and making their own records. That's what I've done. I have four of my own. And uh, I have, when I have the opportunity, I do my own uh, shows. I get some of my buddies, and uh, we just um, have some fun. My favorite part about Jazz Fest is opportunities like this, where you can just come out uh, on your lunch hour, come to the square, and see a great performance, eat your lunch, and learn something new about music, or see someone that you never knew was in the city before. Right, right, right. And, th and that is uh, an awesome opportunity for, for locals in Edmonton to exactly do that, mm -hmm. because it is a, a great venue. It's downtown. Uh, you get out of the office uh, mm -hmm. and you check out some people that you might have not heard before and hopefully that you, they enjoy it and they'll come and see you uh, another time. So for uh, you know Edmonton based musicians or performers in general, being in the park, whether it's the jazz festival or the works, is an opportunity for others to see what's happening in their city. And between the two festivals, it is such a perfect pairing. You go see art and music yeah. is art and it just it works so wonderfully. Absolutely, it sure does. Uh, I mean, it's all art inclusive, right? Mm -hmm. So um, I know some of the people who have um, uh, tents over there and uh, I always see them at my gigs or uh, gigs that I'm a part of. And uh, it's uh, as soon as I get a break, I'm going to yeah. go see them because I never get a chance to see them. So Fair it's enough. really good. We're going to watch you play some of your set today. What are some of the pieces that you're going to be playing and talk a little bit about that? Sure. Um, well, uh, we're going to play most of my uh, most of my record, which is called the Alvo Sessions, which I put out uh, in 2010. I recorded that one in New York. Okay. And uh, we're going to round it off with some really uh, straight ahead standard music in the jazz repertoire sense. <laughs> And then a couple of obscure tunes, you know. So we're gonna we're gonna throw it around, and we're gonna do a lot of improvising, and just have some fun and have some conversation up here, and hopefully uh, we come across with some good stuff. So since you, you since you're on drums and you're kind of confined to that space, is it hard to work the stage and the crowd from that point? I uh, I work on my joke telling, yeah, okay. right? And so if you have a good joke. Um, <laughs> Yeah, you know, it is different, obviously, from, from being a, you know, a vocalist where you're moving around of and course. being able to walk. I'm, I am confined. Um, but, you know, in this idiom of music, uh, it's, it's really just about, you know, more or less just communicating with the audience as opposed to entertaining the audience. And uh, that's all I'm trying to do is let them know what I'm up to, what we're playing, who, who we are, what we're doing. And, uh, you know, I think for most jazz fans, um, that's what they want, and, and I try to deliver that from there. So. Excellent. So for our viewers at home that aren't able to see this performance because it's going to be too late by the time they're watching this, where can they find you online to check out some more of your music? Sure. Uh, well, I have a website, www.sandrodominelli.com. There we go. Uh, I have a MySpace, a Reverb Nation, a Facebook page, all, right. all those things. So Google you, basically. Yeah, if you can Google me, you'll find me. In, uh, uh, there's, uh, I have records online and MP3s online and all that stuff, and um, you can see where I'm playing next and all those great things. Perfect, <laughs> Sandra. Thank you so much for yeah, your time. We're looking welcome. forward to seeing you play today right. and hearing you play. Thank we'll you. be right back on Shaw TV.